Today we're going to look at surface area of pyramids and cones. So the good news is, is that when we're talking about the surface area of pyramids and cones, it's actually going to be a little bit easier than the surface area of prisms um, because instead of having two bases to worry about, you just have one base to worry about. So we're going to again look at the difference between total surface area and lateral surface area, and then we're going to take a look at the formulas and how, and how to calculate. So let's begin with finding the surface area of, the, of this regular pyramid. And so first we want to find the area of our base. So this is a pentagon. So remember we have to, um, actually we're going to start with finding the area of one of the triangles. I'm sorry. We're trying to find the area of one of the triangles. So it's going to be one half our base, which is seven, times our height, which was 16. So one half times 7 times 16, which means the area of that triangle is 56. But we have five triangles, so 5 times 56 would be our lateral surface area, which is 280. All right, so now that we have our lateral surface area, we need to find the area of our base, which is 1 half our apothem times our perimeter. So our apothem is 4.8, and we have a pentagon, and each side is 7, so that means the per perimeter is 5 times 7, which is 35. So that means that the area of our base is 1 half times 4.8 times 35, which is 84. So now we know what our lateral surface area is and the area of our base, which means we can now add them up. So our surface area is our lateral surface area plus our base, which is 280. That was our lateral surface area. We got the area of one of the triangles and we multiplied it by 5, plus 84, which was the area of this base, of this um, pentagon right here. So we add them together and we get a total surface area of 364 square units. So in general, the lateral surface area of a pyramid is one half B L N, where B is one of the sides. Um, but B N, so the length of one side times the number of sides, that's the same as perimeter. So the formula formula you actually want to know and learn, and this should be the formula that you write, should be that your lateral surface area is one half. P, which is perimeter, times L, which little l, and that little l stands for slant height. So there's a difference between big L, which stands for um, lateral surface area, and little l, which stands for slant height. So what is the difference between slant height and regular height? Well, regular height goes from the vertex straight to the bottom versus your slant height which is like the height that goes along the actual pyramid. So it's kind of slanted. So there's a difference between regular height, which is just up and down, it's perpendicular, versus slant height, which is slanted. All right, so that's, a, that's what the L stands for, is your slant height. All right, so the surface area of a pyramid um, is just equal to your lateral surface area, just plus B, so there's just one B because there's one base. All right, let's find the surface area of this pyramid. So we'll start with our lateral surface area, which is one half our perimeter times our slant height. So we get one half, and we have a hexagon, which each side is 12. So that means that our perimeter is 12 times 6, which is 72. That's our perimeter. And then our slant height is 23. So notice that the slant height is going along, it's going along this way, right? Versus just regular height would be just going up and down here, right? So slant height goes along the pyramid. So our slant height is 23. So our lateral surface area is 1 half of 72 times 23. So that means our lateral surface area is 828. All right, now we need to find um, the area 
of this hexagon, but before we do, we have to find our apothem because we need to do one half our apothem times our perimeter. So we had to find our apothem, which could be problematic. Um, so we have to remember that our apothem can be found by using Pythagorean theorem because we know that if we were to make a triangle right here, that it would be an equilateral triangle, right? And if it's equilateral, that means that this piece right here is 12. And if this piece here is 12, then we have 12, and then we have half of this piece, which is 6, and that makes up our right triangle. So now we're just solving for our apothem. So we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's our Pythagorean theorem. We have a squared plus 6 squared. The 6 comes from half of this 12 equals 12 squared, which is this piece right here, because we can form an equilateral triangle right there. So now solving, 6 squared is 36, 12 squared is 144, so 144 minus 36, and then we square root both sides, and then we get A equals 6 square roots over 3, or approximately 10.4. Okay, and that's our apothem. That's our apothem. So now using our apothem, we can find the area of this hexagon. So um, our the area of the hexagon is one half the apothem times the perimeter. So one half 10.4. That's our our apothem times 72, which we said was our perimeter earlier. So one half 10.4 times 72 is 374.4. So now we can find the total surface area, 828 was our lateral surface area, 374.4 was the area of our base. So added together, we get 1,202.4. All right, now let's take a look at the surface area of a cone. So our, our um, formula for the surface area of a cone is just like the surface area of a perimeter. Your total surface area is equal to your lateral surface area plus your base. However, remember we're dealing with a circle, okay? So we have to remember that a circle has, instead of having a perimeter, it has a circumference, right? So that means that our lateral surface area is equal to, instead of being one half our perimeter times our slant height, it's one half circumference times our slant, slant height. And circumference is 2 pi r, so 1 half of 2 is just 1. So that means we our lateral surface area is just pi r times l, our, our slant height. Okay, so let's find the surface area of this cone. So we'll start with our lateral surface area, which is pi r l. So we have pi, and then our r, which is, stands for radius, if you forgot, is 6 times our slant height, which is 18. So we get 108 pi, because 6 times 18 is 108. All right, now we find the area of our base, which is pi r squared. So pi times 6 squared. So 6 squared is 36, so we get 36 pi. So that means that our total surface area is 108 pi plus 36 pi, we can combine those, those are like terms, so we get 144 pi. All right, a recap of all of our formulas. Um, let's go back to the pyramid. We have our lateral surface area is one half, our perimeter times our slant height, and then the surface area, the total surface area is the lateral surface area plus our base, so one half perimeter times our slant height, plus one-half our apothem times our perimeter. And then let's look at the lateral surface area of a cone, which was pi times radius times slant height. And then total surface area of a cone is that lateral surface area plus the base. So pi times radius times slant height plus pi radius squared. All right, go ahead and try some problems on your own.